Hi guys, I've been sent the rules for one of those rubber band powered car competition things. Uh, I should have a little go at it, but I'm not terribly worried about trying to get it to go 40 feet because I've got nowhere that's actually 40 feet as such to test. Uh, let me think. I've got 5, 3, 8. Uh, I think I've got about 12 meters if we go from my conservatory through my kitchen and through my hallway to the front door or well, if it's 12 meters 12 three is about 36 feet yeah we're a bit short of doing 40 feet so I'll just see how far we can get it to run normally the main thing is it's got to carry a pound weight. It must carry a one pound load and the load is actually a box of uh, baking powder or something which is three and a half inches by four and a half inches by two inches and it mustn't be strapped to the car. You should be able to just um, put it on top so there must be some sort of enclosure for it to sit in so it doesn't slide off. Other than that, no restriction on material, size, weight or number of wheels. One rubber band, size 64, which is three and a half inches by a quarter of an inch. Well, I haven't got any of them. So we'll just have to make do with what I've got, which is quite a bit smaller than that. You mustn't use a commercially uh, available kit but you can use commercially manufactured components. So you could buy your wheels. Uh, you could buy uh, ball races, ball, yeah. Um, you could buy steel axles. You could go to the radio control sites and buy all sorts of bits like that if you really wanted to. I'm gonna keep it simple. Um, I've actually done heavier weights just with my cardboard cars and the um, CD wheels. I think I'll use some thin plywood for the bodywork because I happen to have some available and also have thrown out all our scrap cardboard. Um, I had to do a car just the other day and I had a few little bits of cardboard left but I'm not going to use them. I use a bit of plywood. I am going to use some CDs. These are um, ones you can actually, if you've got the right CD writer, you can actually write on this surface. But since I've upgraded to Windows 10, I don't think that writer actually works. Not that it matters because I haven't written anything to CD or DVD for years now. We just don't do it anymore, do we? Um, so I've got CDs, I haven't got any bottle tops to make the hubs, so I might have to cut some little bits of card or even the plywood and glue them either side to fill in the gap. I do have some ball races somewhere, but I can't get into my workroom because I filled it up when we cleared up after uh, before Christmas. So all sorts of reasons for not doing it. Uh, professionally I suppose is the word. So I'm just going to make a normal um, flat board for the body with some edges on it so that the box doesn't slide off uh, and just make up the wheels. I've got some metal rods here that I use for the axles but I don't think I need to. As I say I've done heavier loads with ordinary barbecue skewers. But I'll use these because I've got them. So, we'll sort of get on with it. Right, this is the bit of plywood I've got. It's not good quality plywood, it's cheap stuff, it's used in furniture. In fact, I think this probably came from a cupboard or something, one of the panels, back panels. So, it's got a 
laminate surface, which is a light colour brown there, a darker colour brown there, and if you look at the edge you can see how thin they are and then the rest of the wood goes across, looks like the grain goes that way, which makes sense. That looks like it's about an eighth of an inch thick, I would guess, or two, two and a half millimetres, maybe three. So I'm going to cut that, we'll make it simple, we'll make it about 12 inches long. So 12 inches long, we don't want it to be that wide, I expect I'll probably make it about 6 inches wide, plenty wide enough. And then I'll put some strips up either side of it. Uh, to strengthen it and also to hold the box in place, the weight.
Right, we'll give it a try. Remember this is nothing like a Soyuz 64 rubber band. At best it's half the size, width-wise, so probably about half the power. Put that one there. Wind it up. There's the rubber band. Put that on there, point it in the right general direction. We're going. Not going very fast. Picking up speed a bit. Slowing down again. Yeah, okay, well, distance wise, uh, kitchen is. I'm trying to remember now, one, two, three. Kitchen is five metres, and the conservatory is three metres, but we didn't start at the back of the conservatory. And we haven't got to yet. I would guess we did about five metres there. Five times three, fifteen feet. Not very impressive, not what I was hoping for. Right, to try and improve things to reduce the friction here, I've used the pencil to actually rub. I've moved the wheels out of the way so we can move the axle. I've rubbed pencil graphite on the axle to try and give us a bit of uh, lubrication. I've also trimmed the edge of the bodywork there so it doesn't rub against the wheel. So, we'll try that again, see if we can get any further. I will say again, this is only half the size of the rubber band that you would expect to be using. Go again. Oh, that's improved, hasn't it? Yes. Well, I did move back a bit further, so we nearly went all the way back to the beginning there. So I reckon we probably did eight meters, best part of anyway. Eight threes, 24 feet, so that was an improvement. I doubt whether we'll get all the way there. What I could do is we could go out there and point this way Right, two rubber bands this time, so probably the equivalent to a size 64. Right, I've wound it up a bit further, so the back axle is quite bent at the moment under tension. Okay. sent off to the right a bit this time. So we hit that chair. <laughs> Success. Just out of interest, I will measure it. So that's 750 centimetres or 7.5 metres to that point. Right, so we were set. 
470. So 7 and 4 is 11. And 50 and 70 is 120. So that's 12 meters 20. But we didn't actually start right at the back. So yeah, we did about 12 meters. 12 threes about 36 feet, a little bit more than 36 feet. So on the way to doing the 40 feet target, but I can't really go any further. I just certainly don't have a nice smooth floor to do it on anywhere else. So that'll do. I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. So just a reminder, put in graphite on the back axle to lubricate the bearing helped. And we're now running it on two rubber bands, but they're small rubber bands, so I think that's roughly the equivalent of your size 64. They're not proper rubber ones either, they're um, silicon, I think, because they're cheap. That's as good as we're gonna get, I think. Well, there you go. You made it all the way to the end of another one of my videos. If you want more information, There'll be stuff down there in the video description. If you actually liked that video, you might find this one up here interesting too. And if you like both of them, you might want to subscribe over here. Thanks very much for watching. It's much appreciated.